It's all to do with the training. You can do a lot if you're properly trained. I declare before you all that my whole life, whether it be long or short, shall be devoted to your service and the service of our great imperial family to which we all belong. I know of no single formula for success, but over the years I have observed that some attributes of leadership are universal and are often about finding ways of encouraging people to combine their efforts, their talents, their insights, their enthusiasm and their inspiration to work together. I cannot lead you into battle. I do not give you laws or administer justice but I can do something else. I can give my heart and my devotion to these old islands and to all the peoples of our brotherhood of nations. First, I want to pay tribute to Diana myself. She was an exceptional and gifted human being. In good times and bad, she never lost her capacity to smile and laugh, nor to inspire others with her warmth and kindness. I admired and respected her, for her energy and commitment to others, and especially for her devotion to her two boys. I have in sincerity pledged myself to your service, as so many of you are pledged to mine. Throughout all my life and with all my heart I shall strive to be worthy of your trust. At its heart, engineering is about using science to find creative, practical solutions. It is a noble profession. The lessons from the peace process are clear. Whatever life throws at us, our individual responses will be all the stronger for working together and sharing the load. My husband has quite simply been my strength and stay all these years, and I owe him a debt greater than he would ever claim. To all those who have suffered as a consequence of our troubled past I extend my sincere thoughts and deep sympathy. With the benefit of historical hindsight we can all see things which we would wish had been done differently or not at all. To what greater inspiration and counsel can we turn than to the imperishable truth to be found in this treasure house, the Bible? Therefore I am sure that this, my coronation, is not the symbol of a power and a splendor that are gone but a declaration of our hopes for the future, and for the years I may, by God's grace and mercy, be given to reign and serve you as your queen. Like all the best families, we have our share of eccentricities, of impetuous and wayward youngsters and of family disagreements. The upward course of a nation's history is due in the long run to the soundness of heart of its average men and women. What were once only hopes for the future have now come to pass. It is almost exactly 13 years since the overwhelming majority of people in Ireland and Northern Ireland voted in favor of the agreement signed on Good Friday 1998, paving the way for Northern Ireland to become the exciting and inspirational place that it is today. We lost the American colonies because we lacked the statesmanship to know the right time in the manner of yielding what is impossible to keep. Madam President, speaking here in Dublin Castle it is impossible to ignore the weight of history, as it was yesterday when you and I laid wreaths at the Garden of Remembrance. At Christmas, I am always struck by how the spirit of togetherness lies also at the heart of the Christmas story. A young mother and a dutiful father with their baby were joined by poor shepherds and visitors from afar. They came with their gifts to worship the Christ child. I have been aware all the time that my peoples, spread far and wide throughout every continent and ocean in the world, were united to support me in the task to which I have now been dedicated with such solemnity. 